Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways you can use Black Salt Audio's low control plugin to process your sounds and to make your sounds sound huge. So let's get into it. So before I go ahead and show you how I've used the low control plugin in this song, let's first listen to what we are working with. So the first example I'm going to show it to you is on the bass guitar. Let's listen to how it sounds like without the low control. So now that you've heard the bass guitar, it doesn't really sound that bad already, but we can take it a step further. We can tighten up those lows and we can enhance certain frequencies, add some beautiful harmonics so that it just sounds thick and it fills up smaller speakers. And that's what this plugin is essentially meant to do. So this plugin ideally has two sections. First, you have the control section and the enhance section. The control section is basically a compressor. Pretty straightforward stuff. You have a threshold, you have gain reduction. This is gonna show you how much you're actually compressing. And you can actually bring back some of the low end that you lost during the compression by adding some gain back over here using this. Then you have the compress below section over here. Basically this tells us that the frequencies below this particular number is being compressed. So the compressor is acting on those frequencies below that particular number that you've set there. So in this case, I've set it to around 80 Hertz. Anyway, let's just try to get some settings going on the control side and then we listen back to it. So now let's take a listen to how the bass guitar sounds like with the low control plugin on. So as you can probably tell, hopefully you're listening to this on headphones. You can definitely tell how the low end is nice and tight and controlled. It's not all over the place. It just locks it in place and it just sounds so good. The second part of the low control plugin is ideally the enhance section. So you can use this section to add some harmonics to certain frequencies that you set over here. So let's try to work some settings here in the enhance section. Okay, so now let's take a listen to how it sounds like with the enhanced section on. So you can see how the enhanced section is adding those beautiful harmonics. It's just thickening up the bass guitar and it's filling up the space. It's adding that thickness and adding that punch to the bass guitar that was lacking before this. So the second example I'm going to show you how I've used low control is on the kick drum. So let's check out the kick drum, how it sounds like. Let's see what we're working with. Now 
the kick does sound good but it does lack a little bit of low end that this track could definitely use so i'm gonna pull up low control over here and let's get some settings going So you see how we've brought back some of the low end that we lost and it just sounds more punchy and more fuller now. So now let's take a listen to how the kick drum sounds like with the low control on and off. Now let's see if we can take it a step further. Let's try to see if we can enhance some of the frequencies. You should keep in mind that you have to kind of go easy on this one, especially when you're doing it on a kick drum, especially on a metal track, because you don't want it to sound extremely boomy and full of low end. Let's get some settings going and see how we can use this. So the third way you can use the low control plugin is on the entire mix bus. Now keep in mind when you are using it on the entire mix bus you have to be very careful how much you actually use it because if you set it up the wrong way it can completely mess up your track, it can add distortion and it can add all those things that we don't really want when we are mixing a song. So use it extremely sparingly if you feel like your track lacks low end and if you feel like you need to add it back, if you need like you need some punch then you can use this plugin sparingly to just bring it back keep in mind little goes a long way so let's see how we can use this on this track okay so now let's try to get some settings going So as you can probably hear the track sounds a lot more fuller and a lot more bigger but like i said be extremely careful when you're using it on the master bus you can even probably bring this down a little more but i think it sounds good where it is at currently in this track So those are three ways you can use the low control plugin to enhance and control the low end. Remember that each mix is different and if you feel like the bass guitar in your track lacks punch, lacks power, go for it. Use the low control plugin to enhance and control the low end. Same thing with the kick drum and use it on the entire mix if need be. But like I said, be very careful when you use it on the entire mix. So if you want to check out the low control plugin, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. They also have another plugin called the Escalator. It's a one knob saturation plugin. There's gonna be a video on that soon as well if it's not already out on this channel yet. So make sure to check that out when it's out as well. Thanks so much guys for checking out this video. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Let me know how you use the low control plugin in your mixes. I would love to know that. And hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. 
So until next time, this is Sanjay signing off. See you soon.